It's September, and after a few days settling in, now the team really have to get to work. This is the month that kicks off the agricultural calendar. The most urgent task is plowing. They need to get a crop of wheat into the ground if they're going to have anything to harvest next summer. This. Come on, nearly there. As was common for small farms of the period, a team of oxen, Arthur and Lancelot, have been brought in to help. No problem. Their handler is John Johnston. Oxen were the mainstay of a lot of um, farms in the good old days and used to have teams varying from a pair up to eight. The, the competition was the horse, but at the end of the day, the horse in Britain wasn't eaten. And in Britain, we still eat oxen, uh, and of course, that was the difference in economics. Ten. I've never actually ploughed before. I mean, I've, I've read a lot about it, and, and certainly this plough looks the part, but you know, I'm really looking forward to this, see how this develops. Do you need a hand there, Martin? No, it's done. How's the plough looking? Not bad. Just back it up a little bit, please. That's it. All right. Get ready, boys. OK. Come on, steady, boys. Just walk on gently. Right. Walk on, boys. Walk Come on. on. Hurry up. Come on. Walk Come on. on. Off we go. That's it. Good boys. Come on, boys. Walk on. Walk on. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. These are English longhorn oxen, and these two, are, as you can see, are about, about a tonne apiece, which is a lot fatter than they should be. But they wouldn't let them get too thin because they needed the meat at the end of the day. But Arthur and Lancelot here are about uh, 12 and a half years old, and in theory they would work until they were about 15. Walk on. A bit rocky coming up, boys. Walk on. It's probable that nobody's Walk used on. a plough like this since the 17th century in this country, but we do at least have period diagrams and instructions from which we've been able to rebuild this one. An acre used to be the amount of land a man could plough in a day. So as we've got half an acre here to put down to grain, we should be finished by lunchtime. The oxen are pulling their weight, but the team are struggling with the plough. Yeah. Problem is it gets pinched between the... Um, yeah. Is it worth taking the coulter out? Yeah. I just wonder that. Yeah. Stuart, can I have a mallet, please? Yeah. <clears throat> What's happening, Fonz? Um, it's clogging up between the coulter and the ploughshare, mm -hmm. so I was just going to raise the Put coulter a bit. The coulter, the metal pin, that's supposed to actually do the cutting and the share, well, that divides the earth. But what we're finding is that between the quarter and the share is we're picking up loads of stubble and that's just bluntening the share. So it's not going anywhere. So what we're going to try first is to remove the quarter out of the equation and just see if the share is enough to cut. Uh, well, woo. Welcome. Go on, boys. Well, that's the business. Excellent. Goodbye. 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 Ah! OK, so we're not gathering clag anymore, so we're good. That's been the problem then, I think, isn't it? We're starting to get into the ground at last here, but it's not perfect yet. It should be turning a nice sod on one side only, but at the moment it's just scratching a groove across the ground. But it's progress. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Go. Go on boys. Walk here, on. Come on. Go on. Off Walk we on. go. Walk on. Get on. Go on, Lance. Go on. Get on. The ploughing is going Walk slower on. than expected. Walk on. Here, here. At this rate, the team certainly won't be finished by lunchtime. Walk on. Walk on. They may be struggling to finish before nightfall. Hurry up there. Go on. Hurry up. Come on, Lance. You're lagging again, aren't you, old boy? Come on, look. Come around, boys, that's it. Round, Good you boys. want to get this in position, yeah. Good boys, walk Using on. a plough is all about okay. technique. Walk on. Walk as on. well as maintaining a straight walk line, on. they have to make sure the plough drives walk deep on. into the soil. Come on, that's Come on, Lance, a lot. Walk on. Come on, Lance. I'm doing a wee bit of plough surfing here, because I'm adding extra weight, because the uh, ploughshare kept bouncing out. But now the two of us putting the weight on it means it's biting, and we're getting some pretty good furrows, pretty deep. They look like modern plough furrows. Steady, Arthur, steady. Come on, boys. Walk on. Come on, Lancelot. Oh. Good, boys. OK, we're coming to turn round. Right, jack out. Whoa. 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 Good, boys. On, boys. Walk on. Walk, Walk on. on. Walk on. It's Good been boys. a hard but Walk successful on. day ploughing. By late afternoon, they've done almost half the Walk field. On. Walk on. Come across. Walk That's it. Pull them across a bit. It's really going well now. We've quite literally got in the groove. Walk on. Come on. It's fantastic. We've got a, 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 a plough that's been made to period specifications. We've got period species of, of, of oxen, and it's, and it's really working. Good boys. Walk Good. Thrilling. Absolutely thrilling. Walk on. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Walk on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, up. Walk on. Walk on. 
Ooh, what was that? I'm remarkably impressed, actually, as to how well they've done in these 1,600 conditions. And once we've got the power something like right, the boys have sort of knuckled in and they really are pulling away quite well here. It must have been fairly hard work, though. I can tell you we haven't done an awful lot, but we're all sweating here, including the oxen. But they do seem to like Yokon. And once the plough's dug in, they will pull away. It's sort of instinctive to them somehow. I'm pleasantly walk surprised. On. Come on. <laughs> you can do it, boys. Come on, walk on, ho! Come on, Lance. Come on. Eight hours in, and the team are well on the way to finishing the field. It's been tough, but rewarding. Even if they've been ploughing at about half the speed of a 17th century oxen crew.